Geronimo! <laughs> <laughs>Hey guys, how's it going? The Haggard Nerd here. Welcome back to Astroneer. I uh, sat down to record this coming week's episodes. It is currently May 5th for me. Um, and uh, I, I sat down to load this up and I noticed there was something going on here and I noticed they've updated again. So we are now running patch 158. And uh, let me pull up the notes here. Um, it's, not a, it's not a big update, so I'm not starting a new map. Uh, let's see here. I like this. Hydrazine can explode. And of course I clicked away. Jeez. <laughs> good job. Good job. Uh, gas hazards now to spawn after being uncovered from train. I'm thinking those are the, uh, the spitter guys. I'm thinking that's what that means. Improved research curve. Chests of the same type can now be re-researched. That will be interesting. Uh, I added Turkish language to the build. I'm sure they appreciate that. Add early access pre-alpha build. Uh, so this down here is basically uh, what they added. So there's a couple fixes, um, just a quick once over there, rover stability for multiplayer. Most rocks now despawn after being dug up. Holy crap. Yes, I am so excited about I'm, I'm, I'm really excited about that, guys. <laughs> if you've been watching for any amount of time, you know how much I love rocks and, and how they, uh, won't go away until now, until now. Okay. So game pad camera, we're not dealing with that incorrect. Research unlocked text. That was a mouthful for some reason. Ejected resource nuggets. <laughs> resource nuggets, yay. Being ungrabbable for non host players. Oh, I think that may have been the issue that I had on my multiplayer game with uh, Dr. Cobra the other day. Let's see here. Various audio cues playing incorrectly and multiplayer fixed power cells not unlocking despite the player receiving an analog message. Okay, cool. Uh, so, yeah, this was literally patched like two hours ago that's 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 what this this thing says right Wednesday at 8 30 excuse me this was posted never mind I just <laughs> okay I was wrong it wasn't just patched it's been patched for a couple days now apparently I'm wrong I'm wrong so you know what let's uh let's ignore that and let's move on and uh realize that I I was incorrect but no, no, it says today, Friday, May 5th. Okay, you know what, we're, we're not, we're, we're gonna just, um, move on from that. <laughs> okay, so as my chair squeaks in the back there, let's see here, where, 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 what, who, why, when, and all that stuff. Okay, um, all right, we got some solar panels. It's, it's been a little bit. We got some floaty terrain here. Uh, we had the inhibitor, we had... The wide mod. We also had the analyzer, which I thought was on here. No, I put them over here. Okay, good, good. So there's the inhibitor and the train analyzer, and we have that stuff. So, so um, one of my viewers, uh, my apologies for not remembering the name. You know, I really should start getting better at having these names ready to go if I'm gonna, I'm gonna call people out. Um, actually, if I'm not mistaken, it is the person with all the question marks. Yeah, you. If I'm not mistaken, you said to use the- No! Okay. Use- No! Okay. <laughs> Let's not do that again. There we go. You said to use the inhibitor to mine up resources. So, you know what? Let's, uh, let's, let's see how that works. Like, you said it makes it faster. So, we have some resin over here, it seems. Oh, and some... <laughs> some discarded organic material, it seems. So... Oh, but it just gets it from the surface, though, does it not? I mean, I get that maybe you're trying to just collect from the surface. If you don't want to mess up the surface, it'd be fine to collect with that. But I mean, if there's more down in the area like this, you would want to be able to dig it up. So, I mean, I appreciate the, the thing. I mean, if I wanted to clean off the surface, such as right here. Absolutely. Use the inhibitor. And also, wish you had power. And a battery. And that thing. Yeah, goodbye, Rock. Goodbye, Rock. Goodbye, Rock. Oh, it's like they fall into the ground now instead of popping up. That's that's kind of fun. I'm kind of okay with that. Let's see here. There's a few more just visual artifacts here that I'm going to kind of 
Now, okay, so, 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 let's uh, put the inhibitor down for now. They said that hydrazine can explode now. Like, how? Like, I mean, maybe, maybe if you had dynamite. Right? I, I don't know. We, we will find out, and I'm sure we'll find out the hard way. <laughs> Knowing my luck. Uh, let's go ahead and get rid of that guy. That is a beacon I placed over there. Okay. Okay. I, I got this. I got this. All right. We've been running around like crazy. Uh, we've been going to other planets. Now, um, they said... They said... That, uh... Research can be re-unlockable or like re-researched. So, of course, I probably should have cleared off my backpack before I started running off, as I tend to do. Okay, let's go ahead and get rid of this stuff. Um, I'm actually going to leave my wide mod here because I'm starting to find, or I've I've kind of noticed, going back and reviewing my edits of the last week's episodes, um, the wide mod, like the 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 standard, the smaller will um, dig up quicker, I guess. Like, it, it will it will uh, terraform quicker, I guess, if that's the proper terminology. I have no idea. Um, and the wide mod tends to behave like the older, the original uh, terrain tool before the update. So I kind of would prefer the smaller, quicker option. More of a precise, I guess, type tool. I'm just kind of rambling on here. Not, not really communicating effectively, I don't think. Okay, so I see some spitter guys. I have a terrain tool. And if I get rid of you guys, you will despawn, right? Okay, they're still there. Nope, nope, nope. They despawned. They did. Cool. That's one thing that I've kind of always been annoyed with. It's a simple, you know, update. We could probably do better with the, uh... Oh, I need some oxygen here. Probably do better with the, I guess, dying animations, or... Like, instead of just having them pop out, they could at least have them fade away, or... Something. Of course, I'm, I'm taking something awesome, and already saying they, they could do something different with it. I'm just glad they, they made that update. How about that? So, System Error, thank you. Appreciate it. I always have suggestions for stuff. That's just kind of how it is. I mean, no disrespect, and I appreciate all the work that you uh, put into this game. Because it's very fun. It's very fun. And I got people who watch my videos. And I got, I got a nephew that watches my videos, and he likes them. So, yeah. Many things. Um, let's get over... No, let's not go that way, because that's not the right way. Let's get over to... Smo 2. Which should be there. Should probably run some more tethers. But I'm not there yet. Okay, so I basically... I guess I could have explained this. I, I'm just down here, so I can pick up some more of these standard type researches. Uh, was it this way? I think it was this way. It's all kind of connected. Uh, no, it was not that way. Anyway, yeah, I'm trying to pick up some of these standard type researches, so that way... I think I've none got lost. Um, I can see what they mean by re-researching things? I have no idea. Okay, I'm, I'm officially turned around. I almost died, so I got turned around. Okay, it wasn't there. Oh yeah, I think I know where I am. I mean, I know where I am now, but I, I think I know where it was. I think it was more just straight up. Okay, why am I stuck? Okay, got O2, good. It's out this way, right? Yep, there they are, they're floating in the distance. So let's go ahead and grab those guys. And put that here, maybe. And then grab... That guy. Put him there. Grab that guy because, you know, whatever. And I'm low on O2 again. Awesome. 
Okay. Um, I know I got O2 on the wall there. I'm just trying to get this collected very quickly before it floats away and I die from suffocation. Can I reach that from up here? Can I see that from up here? That would be awesome. That might be a little too far though. Maybe not. Yeah, that was nice. Grab that guy. I only had four. Only had four. Um, it's uh, just a hair a bit too far. Okay. I'm excited to see if I get any more research. As like I've said before, I, I do appreciate the effort in making the game more difficult, but um, only having one technology per unique uh, research model, these guys, they call them nuts, I think. I have no idea. Um, anyway, yeah, that, that was that was a little bit ridiculous because that means you'd have to drive around the entire area or go to another planet to get other unique um, research types. All right, let's see. Compound, okay. Wait, for, is it? Ah, oh, man. We're not going to be able to get through all these. Nope. Not at all. All right, well, we'll, we'll check it out later. I'm going to go ahead. I guess I could just go ahead and apply that to the base and then toss my compound over here. <clears throat> Pardon me. All right. So, do we have any other options here? Three seat, one seat. Three seat, one seat. Okay. All right. It looks like we are taking the rover back out. At least until morning. Uh, I'm, I choose this way. Let's see. Before, 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 before I do that. That way is mostly north. Let's head north. That way, I know if I get lost, I can just travel south. I've been very bad at not doing that before. Uh, here's some resin. I mean... I'm on the hunt for unknown research. Don't really need materials at this point. Well, I mean, I do, just... I need research more so than I need materials. I think I've already been over there, but I'm going to check. It looks like indeed I have. Did I miss any unknown research over here? No, uh, I think I dug this up. I don't see any in the area. I just see more resources, which is fine. I'm not getting my full 60 frames per second. I wonder what's up with that. And I realized I lost track of my direction. So, okay. There we go. Need to go more this way. Hmm. Okay, uh, I see that my recording it looks pretty rough. Uh, give me just one second. Let me see if I can look into that and fix that. Alright, we are back. Uh, it's honestly been... A few hours since I, I made the last cut, so uh, we have jumped forward IRL time for me <laughs> uh, by a couple hours. Uh, so I took some time and did some research, and from what I can tell, uh, there is an issue with Windows 10, the uh, recent creators update, and uh, how OBS is dealing with that. Um, something about the the, the update is causing uh, I, I don't know. It's like the the capture method. 
uh, is is using it uh, like a memory method versus like whatever OBS normally uses. I think that's the issue. Um, so the next couple of episodes are going to be a little bit choppy. I apologize for that. Uh, once everybody can figure out what's going on, um, OBS is going to be kind of funky. Until then, I turn down my settings a little bit. Um, I'm actually now recording at 30 frames per second rather than 60. So uh, when I render this out at the end, it is going to be a 60 frame per second uh, for the first half and then I guess 30 for the second. But uh, I'm going to render it in a <laughs> 60 FPS uh, project. And then uh, the next couple episodes after that will probably be 30 FPS pure. Um, also, I, I think I adjusted some of the quality settings, so you may notice a slight quality drop. I'm just doing everything I can to kind of help smooth out the process. Um, this is kind of frustrating. Uh, <laughs> Because uh, I, I, don't, I don't like not having decent quality stuff. Um, anyway, uh, so yeah, let's go ahead and get back into the episode now that we've taken a nice little uh, break here. Well, for, I, I did for research and dinner, but uh, you guys did because, well, it was just a quick split second for you guys. <laughs> Thanks to the magic of editing. I have no real purpose as to why I'm going down this hole, um, other than the fact that it's a hole and I wanted to go down it, and I was wondering if maybe there was something like this down here. Yeah. Very cool. Put that there, and I'm actually, I mean, it's right there, so that's two unknown research. Oh man, oh good lord. And there's a crashed thing down here too. Well, that's a, one of the satellites. Hey, look at that. <laughs> yeah, I think that'll work. I think that'll work. I just need some oxygen now, so I'm going to grab this. And maybe grab a little more of this. And then maybe... Is there any other... In the area that I can just grab real quick. Nope, nope, okay. Back to the truck. That's a nice little excursion I did there. Oh, don't you go flying away. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm getting oxygen and then I'll go pick those up. Actually, I might be able to reach those. I'm good on oxygen anyway right now. So, uh, being that this episode's been kind of funky, what I'm probably going to do is uh, I'm going to take these back. <laughs> that guy's floating. Um, I'm going to take these back to the uh, to the base, see what they are, and then call it an episode. And then uh, hopefully by the time the next episode goes up, I will have been able to figure out maybe something a little bit better, uh, or not. I don't know. I'll, I'll update you as to what I find at that time. Hopefully there's something though, because I don't like this weird kludginess. All my videos up to this point have been nice and smooth for the most part. Uh, if I'm wrong on that statement, please let me know. I've, I've, I've thought they've been pretty smooth. <laughs> Can you guys tell I'm a little obsessed with quality? <laughs> but uh, hopefully that's a good thing for you guys. Alright, I'm taking another quick peek just to see if there's anything else super easy, because we have one slot left. Is there anything on this guy? And remember, before we started heading out, we were heading north. So now, uh, hopefully we're heading north still. Going over some rocks. Awesome. You know what, there's, a, there's another cave there. Might as well. There's a thing over there I might check out. Just taking a quick peek in here. Man, man, it's crazy. Okay, let's see here. Nope, can't reach it. All kinds of stuff. All right. I think maybe I'm gonna go check out that uh, that thing I just saw right over there, and then we will head back south. Yeah, watch out for the rocks and everything. 
Oh, it's like two of them together. Oh, easy. Easy. Okay, I'm just gonna kinda turn around here. And that should be good. Alright, I think I already see a science. I think I'm just gonna call him science because, uh, unknown research is a mouthful. You guys alright with that? Is there any diehard fans of unknown research out there? You must not call it that, for it is sacred. Or something like that, I don't know. Alright. Ooh, oxygen at 50. There was some oxygen down there, but I think, I think... Wait, yeah, I think I'm gonna go ahead and grab that. Where were you? Easy. Easy. Easy does it. Oh no. Okay. Try not to go flying off. Be so nice if I could get a tank sometime. Okay. I just want to grab that tech research up here. Hopefully. Oh no, that's a satellite that I was seeing. Oh, or not a satellite, but a, like a dish. Oh, come on, come on, come on. Am I stuck, stuck? Yeah, I think I'm stuck, stuck. Okay. Uh, I don't want to die of suffocation here. Um, I don't see anything immediately. You know, it's fine. We're good. We are good. We are good. Come on, little guy. Come on, little guy. You got it. You got this. You got this. Okay. I guess I could have thrown out some tethers for him and not just stood there and watched him die. So we need to go back that way. So we'll just skirt around this here mountain. And we will be on our way back home. And we won't be coming exactly the same route we came. We'll be over a little bit. But hopefully uh, that'll expose us to maybe some other stuff. Maybe some more science. Because I'm calling it that now. <laughs> My voice is all out of whack for some reason. Everything's all out of whack today. Oh man. Okay, come on, you can do it. You can do it. So, uh, another thing that I really wish the devs would, uh, adjust is... You know how, like... You drive a rover, and it's powered, and it steers itself, and it, like, goes? Well, why, why can't the connected, um, trailers also provide power to their wheels instead of just kind of, like, being, uh pulled along behind and, and being all kind of awkward and slighty like that. Just, just, just wondering, just curious. Because, I mean, you know, the truck, uh, the, like, like, the rover, I can understand maybe it just having to pull, but, but the truck, man, it's, it's like four-wheel drive, man. You can, you can go and go all kinds of different directions and it's super fast and, yeah, okay. It's got a lot going for it is what I'm saying. I just, uh, I don't know, I think powered trailer wheels might be an interesting thing. It would help with the, uh, controlling of the, uh, the rover trains like that. And you could, like, s stick, like, ten of them in a line, or more, if you can do that, you know. And you could go on a long journey, getting all kinds of stuff. And you wouldn't necessarily be limited by the number of, I don't know trailers you have? <laughs> Maybe that's the point though. Maybe that's the point. Okay, so uh, I didn't say it because I didn't I was thinking it, but I didn't say it. I'm, I'm waiting for daylight now, so uh, I kind of want to go ahead and research this. The one's from earlier. Okay, compound. At least it's not hydrazine. Okay, and we are out of power now, so... So we're going to kind of hang out until daylight because uh, I really don't want to get into any other projects. So uh, yeah, we'll, we'll come back when it's daylight.
All right, it is now daytime, and we now are getting charged, and I may have made a tower of science because I was bored. <laughs> Hydrazine. Yay. All right. Probably more hydrazine. No? Compound? Okay. I'm okay with that. I can use compound. I mean, well, I guess technically now I can use hydrazine too, but... Compound is, uh... I don't know. More useful. Ooh, here we go. Something good. Something good. A tank, maybe? Crane. Okay, I mean, you know... Storage would have been nice. Tank would have been nice. Oh, here we go. Okay. Come on, something good. Dynamite. Okay, well, at least now we can have some fun. Oh, man. And lithium. Okay. Okay, I have no more backpack space. Okay, you know what? <laughs> we now have the option to make dynamite, and I am going to damn well use it. So, let's put that in there. Put that in there. All the batteries that I could be using right now. What is that? Oh, that's organic stuff. Um, let's see here. Aluminum. 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 <laughs> this is all aluminum. Aluminum. So we'll get rid. Of oh, I. <laughs> Come on, man. Come on. What are you doing? Okay. Do to do to do. Do to do to do do. Do to do to do. I guess now we'll get to figure out what uh, hydrazine will do if it explodes. <laughs> I'm I'm really excited for this, guys. Really excited for this. Okay, so there needs to be at least uh, a, a, an experiment. There needs to be a test. So I want to check this out, and I want to run over here, kind of far, kind of far. This is like our testing area over here. Because this is the stuff I did with the train analyzer, I think. So, first test is dynamite by itself. So, oh, um, I guess I have to be right next to it when I want to. Or maybe, maybe I should just run away. Here we go. Oh, ooh. Yeah, buddy. Ooh. Seems like the holes are maybe a little bit bigger. And of course, I'm gonna have to run back for freaking O2 every single time. Well, I do have those filters. Uh, I think I may use one of those. Let's go ahead and make use of one of those because I want to have some fun here. What was that? Did you guys hear that? Alright, so then the next thing would be dynamite with a thing of hydrazine. So, um... <laughs> Ooh, you see that blue flash? <gasps> oh man, that was quite a bit bigger. Quite a bit bigger. Now, last, last but not least, I want to see if this is a thing because uh, this might be fun. I know I could be using this for uh, <laughs> for my shuttle, but I'm more curious. Okay. Nope, it does. Okay, so. That's that's a thing I would like to see changed. Well, that's interesting. Um, so if hydrazine in compact form can explode, why can't hydrazine in non-compact form? That like like that should uh, that should have caught, in my opinion. Maybe there's a very specific reason why that's not the case, but uh, I kind of would have liked to have seen it. So it seems like maybe hydrazine in its canister form is uh, almost as powerful, if not more powerful 
than TNT. Only TNT is the uh, the fuel basic or the igniter, and also with the charge two. <laughs> so I do want to do my uh, my chair test as well because I'm curious. Uh, we're just gonna take our time and run slow. Okay, you know what? Fine. It's good. It's good. Let's do this. Because I'm curious about what about lions? How how closely can those be? Okay, maybe maybe actually we'll do this. Put one way out here. Do half of that. Do half of that. And that's that's all about the same, isn't it? Let's do a little bit closer. Maybe. Yeah. Let's see. Let's see how far it'll reach. I think. Put that about right there. And run away! Oh, wow. So it'll only do the ones that are right beside it. So I'm gonna put these together. And then run and grab some more fuel, or O2 rather. Cause I don't wanna die. I guess I could run tethers over here. Come on, come on. It's a little further than I'd want. There we go, Whew, jeez. Man, you gotta get better at that. It's funny connected to the ship, rather than the base. But hey, we now we have more room for hydrazine. And yes, I'm going to explode all of it, because that's just how I feel today. <laughs> okay. So um, I'm going to save one dynamite though because I want to do my chair test. I just want to see how big this ends up being. With everything kind of here together. All right, here goes. Oof. Oh man. Oh man. That that was <laughs> That was kind of awesome. I'm wondering, oh, I'm going to have to make that bigger. That's going to be my 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 whole O explosion. <laughs> All right, last last thing, and I think I'll be done for today. Hello, Mr. Chair. Have your mechanics changed at all? Still talking to the chair. <laughs> Let's see here. Where would be a good place? Maybe... Maybe just something like that. Something simple. Something simple. Like... Mm. There we go. Alright guys, let's do it. Geratimo! <laughs> Oh, okay. We, we we at least made it to uh, some distance. We didn't get stuck. Now we're stuck in a hole. And hopefully I don't die when I jump out here. And it didn't. Sweet. That's not changed. That's good. But now I'm kind of stuck in a hole here. That's... That's pretty good, I guess. That was fun. Come on. Gotta get out. Let me out. Oh yeah. Oh no, did I did I knock myself so far away now I can't get back? No, it's right there. It's just right there. Just right there. Just right there. Okay. Oh, uh T is not what I meant to push. Let's grab this, okay. Alright guys, uh, that was it for this kind of ep crazy episode. I apologize for this being all ridiculous and messy. Uh, I can't really help that uh, Windows 10 and OBS is not playing well together right now. But um, I will do my best to do a bit more research before I record the next episode and uh, try to get this running as smoothly as possible. Hopefully they'll release another update soon. <laughs> um, so yeah, anyway. Uh, if you have any questions or comments, feel free to leave them down below. I love hearing from you guys. As always, thanks for watching. Take care.